Happy Saturday, everyone, and I wanted to turn the video on because I've just been hanging out here in the van thinking about some stuff. You know, don't get me wrong at all, because I really do enjoy living out of a van. Don't get me wrong. I never would have imagined my life would be like this, though. I never would have imagined that this would have been the best possible alternative route to living. That there's you go straight down this path and get fucked every which way along the way, or you take this extreme U-turn. I would have never imagined that life would be like that. If you told me when I was 12 years old that your choices in this life are to slave away, kudos to you if you found a career or something you enjoy and are passionate about, but I'm speaking for the general masses right now, is that the general masses are slaving away. Your choices are slave away to pay your government first to pay your landlord or mortgage lender second pay the government again to say that you can still own that property um, and then pay the electric company, the gas company the water company and then pay dealership if you have a car note or your insurance company and health insurance provider and then that the goods and the services that you must purchase food a manicure or every let's say like once a year you say I want to treat myself to a manicure or even just food delivery if you say this you know this month I'm just gonna have my groceries delivered to me or whatever it is then you have to pay the government once again so if you were to tell me when I was 12 years old that my options were to work and slave away and have basically 90% of my money let me let me let me rephrase this to have basically worked and earned only 10% of my money because the other 90% is going to other gov is going to governments, other companies or other people, landlords or entities or such and and so and the list goes forward. Is that that is one option and then the other option the more freeing option is to try to remove as much of that as possible. Remove your need. You can't remove your need from, for health insurance or they charge you more on your taxes. But remove your need for a car payment by driving an older vehicle or remove your need to pay rent by living in a van or a car or finding working for a national park and living there, working jobs where you provided housing, or um, at, or to reduce your cost for food by remaining eligible through your life to receive food stamps, which also means that you would be remaining eligible as being poor constant, consistently. So if you were to tell me that those are my two options, is to go on this straight and narrow path where, and both paths end in death so if both paths end that's a different topic but both paths end in death so you're telling me path one I get to live in anxiety and live in fear and live in control of oh no I hope you know something might not happen or I if I lose my job I'm gonna die literally or I can't go I can't miss a single day of work because if you were to tell me I have that option and have all these creature com com 
creature comforts that in my opinion end up chaining you that that they become they go from comforts and pleasures to chaining and complacency um i i'm sorry i would choose freedom i would choose freedom and that's why i've done that's why in the beginning i said don't get me wrong i love living in a van but i did think down to myself cuz i'm a bit stressed right now um, I don't have a lot of gas and I need to make it to Friday. It's the weekend. I feel like I can't even enjoy the weekend because I have zero dollars. What is there to do? So what now we play a waiting game until Monday and then Monday begins and we work for five days and I get paid Friday and then that weekend all that money will be gone. I'll have about a hundred left over and we have to play this game once again for two weeks. It's okay. We're almost through with, with my, with, I've chosen to live out of a van and I'm almost through. I have like $1,500 left of consumer debt that I need to pay down and we're in the clear. Then all of my money is truly my money. But again, that is what, why does it, we've gotten to this point where we have to choose this complete alternative route of living to even enjoy ourselves in the slightest. While there are people out there making millions and billions off of our labor. It's a crazy world. That's why I wanted to make this video. I would never have thought that this would be my life right here. I have a, I, this is covered up, but my bed's back there right now. I would have never thought this would have been my life and I couldn't be more happier about it. I couldn't be more happier about the current reality of it. But I also can't help but to think about the broader spectrum of it to be to, to my 12 year old self, like being like this world's so screwy and so crazy that you're going to break free from it and live in a van in your 20s. And it's so crazy that the rest of the world is going to say you're crazy for breaking away from the craziness. If, imagine you sit down your 12 year old self and you say you have no idea how crazy this world is and when you do <sighs> so I'm happy for the current reality that I'm breaking free from this I'm sad by the extenuating reality for uh, I guess the longer term implications of, of human beings being on this earth because my God, we we haven't figured it out, and who knows if we'll figure it out. So, anyway, this is my view. By the way, rainy night. Can't I got no money, and I can't do nothing. It's raining, so we're just hanging out in the van. But rather do that than pay taxes have a great weekend everybody if it if this is your pay weekend i'm on my no pay weekend if you're bi-weekly i'm on no pay weekend but if it's your pay weekend go and enjoy yourself for me and i'll be all right next weekend have a great one